Welcome back and thanks for staying with us. Taking you to the state of Assam. Some breaking news now coming in. This is the word from Himant Biswa Sarma, which has now sparked another row. In, in fact, Himant Biswa Sarma has warned of a demographic shift in the state of Jharkhand, saying that Jharkhand will turn into quote unquote mini Bangladesh. In fact, Assam's Chief Minister Himant Biswa Sarma criticized Jharkhand's government as well, warning that the ongoing infiltration could transform the state into a mini Bangladesh. He claimed that infiltrators are disrupting local culture over there and affecting the tribal identity, predicting a demographic shift if the trend continues. Let's listen in to what the Chief Minister actually said. As Santhal Pargana me Adibasiu ka Asmita और पूरा झारखंडी समाज व्यवस्था को घुसपैठिया मिलके बर्बाद कर रहा है अगर ऐसे ही घुसपैठी आते रहते हैं तो झारखंड पूरा अलग हो जाएगा डेमोग्राफी चेंज हो जाएगा और मिनी बांग्लादेश बन जाएगा संथाल परगना मिनी बांग्लादेश बनने का कदर में है आज हमने तीन घोषणा किया हूं पहला जब सरकार बनेगा हम एनआरसी लाऊंगा कानून का रास्ता से हम लोग घुसपैठियों को धक्का मार के झारखंड से निकालूंगा दूसरा झारखंड का जो जो भी बेटी को घुसपैठियों ने अपना जाल में बसा जाल में फंसा के शादी किया है उनका बेटा बेटियों को आदिवासी का मर्यादा नहीं मिलेगा अगर पिता घुसपैठी होते हैं तो बेटा बेटी को हम आदिवासी का मर्यादा नहीं देगा यह भी हमारा वादा है तीसरा आदिवासी बेटियों को अगर कोई घुसपैठी शादी करता है तो ऐसा बेटी मुखिया का पोस्ट में चुनाव ना लड़े इसलिए जो मुखिया का पद होते हैं वो आदिवासी के लिए होता है CNN News 18's Arunima is back with us on the broadcast over this development. Uh, Arunima, we have seen this topic being touched upon in the past as well, but uh, the opposition threw the ball back to the court of uh, the Home Ministry with regards to the infiltration happening in the state of Jharkhand. Yes, uh, at first it was Mamta Banerjee when she was targeted for infiltration in the border areas between West Bengal and Bangladesh. She turned around and asked that you should ask the BSF. Now, Hemant Soren is also following the same trajectory. He attacked Hemanta Biswa Sarma and he was speaking in Deoghar where he said that who is responsible if indeed Bangladeshi infiltrators are being allowed inside uh, Jharkhand, uh, the state of Jharkhand. What is it that BSF is doing? What is it that the Prime Minister and the Home Minister are doing? And then he most con controversial, uh, he goes on to actually question as to why the Indian government decided uh, to provide asylum or provide, uh, you know, temporary asylum uh, to Sheikh Hasina. Uh, so this, I mean, he's, he's trying to ghirao the Bharti Janta Party itself on this question of Bangladeshi infiltration. Uh, while Himanta Biswa Sarma, uh, even Shivraj Singh Chauhan and other BJP leaders are going to Jharkhand and raising the bogey of uh, demography change, saying that Himan Soren government and JMM government are turning a blind eye to illegal Bangladeshi migrants staying in Jharkhand because they uh, depend on their votes uh, because these, this group is allegedly a vote bank for JMM. Soren is also being extremely aggressive and questioning why steps are not being taken if indeed the allegations of illegal Bangladeshi migrants is true. In fact, the counter jibe has already come in, Arunima, as you just correctly uh, touched upon that Jharkhand Chief Minister Heman Soren has now made some serious allegations against the BJP, claiming that the party has colluded with the infiltrators from uh, Bangladesh. They talk about infiltration from Bangladesh, but it seems that they have struck a deal with Bangladeshi infiltrators, something that Arunima was just speaking about. In fact, let's listen into what Heman Soren first said, and then we'll discuss it in depth with Arunima. आपको तो लगता है इसका खुद ही अंदर अंदर कोई घुसपैठ कई लोगों ने समझौता कर रखा है आज सीमा का सुरक्षा किसके हाथ में है केंद्र सरकार के हाथ में बीएसएफ के हाथ में है राज्य सरकार के हाथ में नहीं और आज किस आधार पर बांग्लादेश के पूर्व प्रधानमंत्री जी अगर कल्याण में उतरने का परमिशन इनको मिलता है उनको यह शरण मिलता ये केंद्र सरकार करती है घुसपैठी है हम लोग को बोलता है Arunima continues to stay on with us on the broadcast. Arunima, we just heard what Heman Soren has to say. Let's also talk about, uh, you know, the pulse on the ground. Because we are looking at, uh, you know, the assembly elections just coming up in a few more days. How exactly the people of the Jharkhand feeling about this particular issue? 
it's a, it's a very tough fight in jharkhand mm-hmm. there are a number of seats at least 6 or 7 seats uh, where the margin of win uh, for the bharatiya janata party in some cases and for the india bloc i think one seat went to jmm and one to congress so in these seven seats the margin of win last time around was about 2000 2500 votes and this is a very very tight fight and therefore both sides are are really um, going to the voters and and raising uh, the issues that they feel will will resonate most like the tribals are concerned and we saw the reflection in the in the lok sabha elections there was a concern within the tribal population uh, that their reservation benefits could be taken away uh, the bharti janta party called this a complete lie uh, but it did impact their electoral prospects bjp mm. hopes that by raising the demography change bogi uh, they will be able to tide over the caste differences the tribe differences and unite all those who practice hinduism uh, and and create a wedge thereby uh, between between uh, the, the various factions which have been supporting jmm uh, jmm is definitely hoping that they will continue to impress and jharkhand is a tribal state jmm is hoping that by continuing to impress the tribal rights are under threat that a tribal chief minister was jailed because they are anti tribal that narrative will help them it's a very tight fight and both sides have up the ante